Today, students, we're going to look at the literary discussion introduction, a sample of how you can organize this paragraph. Now, of course, with every writing piece, we love students who are able to give us a hook. If you recall, in term one, a composition usually begins with a grabber, a sentence that's going to pull the reader in. Here we have used a hook from Adele's song, and it reads, do you feel a connection to Adele's words, I must have called it a thousand times? So we took a quote from the lyrics of her song, and we're using it to entice the reader to read on. Once we would have included that quote, now we need a sentence that's being represented here in sentence number two that's going to create a bridge, that's going to link or connect the hook with the rest of the material. It says, no one likes feeling rejected. But sometimes in a relationship, things fall apart. So we're using this sentence to help to marry the hook with the next sentence. Now, this sentence num number three, we need to state the author name that's here in yellow and the title of the piece. So it reads, in the poem, or we could have said in the passage, in the poem, since you, by Dion Brand, the use of metaphor, personification, and re repetition made me reflect on future relationship choices. So in this sentence, we have the title and the author, but notice we've also linked the specific techniques we're going to be discussing. And generally speaking, we want our students to discuss at least three techniques. So the techniques, of course, are our special tools that we are identifying, which contributes to making the work enjoy enjoyable, interesting, or memorable. Once we have our techniques mentioned, then we're also going to add a portion that gives what effect that particular, those techniques would have had on us. So we call that the personal response. So when you read a piece, whether it's a passage, a story, a poem, a play, you want to always be the student who give a personal reaction to the piece. That's called your personal response. Finally, you want to include a summary. So once you would have read the piece, once you would have read the piece, you want to be able to give in summation, what is this piece about? Here's an example. This piece revealed how brutal breakups can be. However, one can eventually, eventually learn to cope and move on. So here are the basic ingredients of a literary discussion. And as an, a word, as a note to the to students, these, these ingredients can be rearranged or reshuffled. They don't have to necessarily go in the format that you were given, so long as you have them and they fit seamlessly together, that is acceptable. But if you want to keep it, play it safe, use a grabber, give us the author name and title of the piece, state your techniques, tell us what impact or effect it has had on you, and provide a summary. Thanks for watching.